Scunthorpe Amateur Meeting, 1st of March, 2008. The joint was rocking, they went round and round, reeling and rocking to that crazy sound. We kept on rocking till the sun went down, almost till the sun went down. It was Saturday morning, the sun was shining and the sky was blue. The day before it was blowing a gale and rain poured down. The weatherman said it was going to be fine on Saturday, but the wind would still be blowing to some degree. But it was fine and warm this Saturday morning, so warm in fact I didn't think I would need my coat today. So warm in fact the car eater was turned off completely. That was until I was within five miles of Scunthorpe. There was rain on the car windows, the clouds were looking black. You would have thought it was the devil himself with his ice cold fingers lingering around just waiting to greet those brave enough to turn into Normandy Road, industrial estate. I had to turn the heater back on the nearer I was to the Scunthorpe track. When I got out of the car, the draft nearly blew off the car door. The icy wind wrapped itself round my feet. The sign on the door said, Welcome to the icy wastes. If you didn't know it was Scunthorpe Amateur Speedway meeting day before, you certainly did now. Somehow the icy cold winds have decided that Scunthorpe Speedway track is the best place to be on any weekend. It was all hustle and bustle getting things ready for action. There wasn't as many there as expected or wasn't expected. The number of races was cut down by 16. I made the prediction it would all be over by 4.30. I was five minutes out. The last race was ended, 4.25 p.m. But we are finishing before we started. You could even say it was an hour before Coldbone Row. But nonetheless, when it was all over, yes, you've guessed it, we were frozen once more to the bone. There were all the faces in their usual places doing their usual thing, making sure the track was fit to race, but there had been rain, so the dirt was light. You could see the blue line, and it got wider and wider all the time. <coughs> but you have to get the meeting on, and too much dirt along with too much rain, and you don't have a meeting at all. Someone had been reading the alley. Please, please shut British Speedway down for two years. Olson's book of Grand, Speedway, Grand Prix Speedway track preparation. The man with the ponytail, no not you, the other one, invited me to next year's gathering of the Five Families annual Wolf Speedway Riders Dinner. He said you can come with me next year, sit at my table, hold my coat, wave the red flag. Then he disappeared to change into his best bib and tucker, and the other one, the one with the more, even more distinguished ponytail, yes that's you this time, said hello. Mr. Clemens, you remind me of the Russian poet Andrei Shevenko. I said, I thought he played football for Chelsea. No, not him, you crazy old fl red flag waving poet, said the man with the more distinguished ponytail. This fellow's name begins with a Y, and he wrote 10,000 Russian poems. I said, that's nice of you to say, but I haven't written 10,000 Russian poems. They're even those who choke up when they read what I write. It must be all that Cyrillic sh script that brings a tear to the eye. But if you understand the code and read between the lines, the meaning of it all is there for the eye to see. But that seems to me like a cue to rehearse the verse and put it all in line. We are here today looking for a poetical despair from those on the track. We are only three more steps away from the end of this practice line, with only three more meetings to go before the tapes go up on season 2008 at this Theatre of Dreams, also known as Scunthorpe Speedway. The man in charge was saying, we have so much to do before the close season is done, but we will make it the time to do what we will make the time to do what we have to do. There was a man walking in a field full of golden corn, walking there to see which of the seed was full grown, there to sort the wheat from the chaff, there to reap what was sown, there to see who was born to be. The proceedings begun and the riders came out in good order. The rules had changed from the meeting before. The rider could ride around the opposite way to get a feel of the ground to see what track conditions were like before they started racing around on their bikes. There were a few folds as the riders got used to the track. One time the ambulance had to come out when the meeting was long in the afternoon, but all was well for most of them. 
and most all of them got up to ride again. The cold wind blew all the time, some of us were freezing, blowing into their hands. It was one of those days when you just had to get on with it. There were those riding round like poetry in motion, coming around the third bend all in line, making their turn in unison. I saw them all turn as one, that is how I write my verse. You take the reader down along the line, then make a sudden turn, hit the eye curve, and swing it around without falling off the eye wire and go crashing into the next words, flowing out of the pen. There was always the contrast between those with great experience and natural talent, and those giving it a go, because they wanted to get there, or just because they fancy a spin around the track, and if they can win a race or two, then that's something to shout about, and if you don't, you can always come back and try again some other time. But you have to believe in yourself, it's all about confidence, as the pudding has already said, and if you keep your nerve and keep it wound on, you will soon learn the melody and be able to sing the song and go round and round like poetry in motion, all the time getting used to the mic, just like those others whom you're standing awe of, as you watch them ride the track with ease, the very one you'll find it so hard to get around. But there are only three more steps to take, because it's all over for another close season, only three more throws of the dice before you have to make your choice. Do I want to carry on and finally become what I always dream about? The one everyone comes to watch week in and week out. Or do we put the bike away for good, securing the knowledge that at least we gave it a go? But now we will leave it to someone else to stand in that field of golden corn, a speedway rider full grown. What will we do then on a weekend? We will miss it all and all of this flag waving. Someone thought I'd even stopped a race without the referee's permission, but they all stopped because they thought the race was stopped, so I put my red flag out for a moment or two, then they realised the race was still on, so I took my flag back in again, but there was pudding, wondering what was going on as the race as previous had to be stopped, and all of them thought this is what happened, but the race was still on, so they all clicked into gear and got on with it. And the cold wind blew and there was nothing to do but stand there as the racing unfolded and those who fell by the wayside were on their way home. No one knocked a hole in the gate, so some of them had to wait to see if they could get out of the way before the sun went down and the ice-cold dew froze them all to the bone. And there were finals taking place, all of them coming for, out for their last race. And I don't know most of their names, you will have to look at the official results to know who won what, who came in second and third, but the last final was a real treat, hard fought racing and the winner was, with another guy second and another guy third. And then it was all over again, those who had once stood around paused for the camera which go had their memories that will live forever because they won something, proved something to themselves, and they were all there working hard trying to make it happen, and you can't win them all no matter how hard you tried. As I was walking through the car park, and this man with a ponytail, yes you, not the other one, for he would soon be sitting down with the five families for his warm soup and hot dinner, with all the sinners worst, while all the sinners were stood there freezing to the bone, with just a cup of coffee and a sausage sandwich to keep us warm, and no one mentioned the mysterious Newcastle sandwich, so we can draw a veil over all of that. And there was Pudding stirring the pot, saving, saying this man with the red flag, I think you ought to paint something. I said, while you discuss this financial package, I will tot up the bill and present it next week. I will probably get a free sandwich with some mustard on, just to make things hot for me. And the man with the distinguished ponytail, I bet you thought I'd forgot about him with my mind on sausage sandwiches. He said, you do, you know, you remind me of that Russian poet. He came from Siberia, but I really thought it was because I reminded him of Joseph Stalin, as he used to wave a red flag too. But it was all over for another week, and I won't be there tomorrow, for I might as well as go both next week, as there will be no more practices, not until the end of the season. There will be no more of those practice monologues, but we will leave it all for the grand finale. There is another amateur meeting next Saturday. Let's have a full house for that and a full house for the practice next Sunday. Then we can write a farewell speech and say goodbye to all those we have known and to all those who have grown in one way or another in the close season just gone. 
and now we look towards the new season and what is to come let us hope let us all hope that this one will be a good one in speedway's 80th birthday season has anyone realized that yet <laughs>